Good morning, dear students. We are going to begin with a new unit that is unit 3 and the first poem in that is Silver. It is written by Walter de la Mer and it's a very beautiful poem that describes the effects of moonlight on the countryside. Now in your textbooks uh, you have a warming up session. The first one you can do on your own as well as the second. However, the second one you just need to fill up various rhyming words there. For example, soon after dawn rises the sun, I, it wakes and enlivens everyone. It scares away the long dark night, the shining stars go out of sight. Similarly, I want all of you all to fill up the remaining of that activity. Now turn your pages, we are going to begin with the poem. Let's begin. Silver by Walter de la Mer. Slowly, silently, now the moon walks the night in her silver shoon. This way and that she peers and sees silver fruit upon silver trees. One by one the casements catch her beams beneath the silvery thatch. Crouched in his kennel like a log with paws of silver sleeps the dog. From their shadowy coat, the white breast peep of doves in silver feathered sleep. A harvest moon goes scampering by with silver claws and silver eye. And moveless fish in the water gleam by silver reeds in the silver stream. Now, the entire poem, of course, with the name is given the name silver now why silver it talks about the moonlight and how when the moon shines everything around looks like it is made out of silver all right so let's go slowly each stanza slowly silently now the moon walks the night in her silver shoon here it talks about how slowly the moon is coming into the sky all right it is trying to uh, you know give out its moonlight on the entire scene that the poet is describing all right and it looks like she is creeping it has been given the figure of speech of personification given human qualities of moving and walking in the night in her silver shoon what do you mean by shoon it is shoes Okay, so it feels like the moon is slowly creeping and crawling and it is in the night time where she walks in her silver shoon. This way and that she peers and sees. What do you mean by peers? To look. Okay, she sees silver fruit upon silver trees. Now the fruit and the trees of course are not really silver but the fact that they are shining in the moonlight it appears that the fruits and the trees are of silver color. One by one the casements catch. What is a casement? It is the windows. Okay, so one by one the windows beneath the grass roofs catch her ray. Alright, so it talks about how the windows are catching the beam of light. Okay, that the moonlight is showing. Crouched in his kennel like a log. A log is like a big branch of uh, the tree. Alright, like it's move, not moving at all. With his paws of silver sleeps the dog. So even the paws, the paws is the leg of the uh, dog. And when it is out in the moonlight, it appears to look like silver. From their shadowy coat to the white press peep, of doves in silver feathered sleep now here it talks about how the silver moonlight is reflecting off the white chest of the dove you know a dove is a beautiful white bird all right and when there is more light that is shown on it it's got uh, you know a kind of a sparkly finish so it looks like it is completely made of silver and they are fast asleep a harvest mouse goes scampering by, scampering, running quickly to hide. Alright, so it is literally moving from one place to another in a very quick manner. And 
it looks like it has silver claws and silver eye so the way that the moonlight is reflecting off the eyes of the rat of the mouse it looks like it is made up of silver and moveless fish in water gleam so here it's talking about moveless meaning to be without any motion they are still in the water by silver reeds in a silver stream silver reeds reeds are for plants that grow in the water and the water of course is reflecting the light of the moon therefore it looks like it is made of silver a silver stream so with this we come to the end of the poem it's a very simple easy poem class it only talks about how beautifully the poet has described the moonlight reflecting on all the various objects everything is still it is late at night okay so there is very less movement okay everyone is fast asleep except for the rat that goes scampering by okay now in your workshop you have various questions which are very easy you just need to read through the poem once more to if you were asked to draw a detailed picture of the scene described in the poem what objects animals natural features will you show in the picture now of course here you will have to talk about the various objects what objects have been described to us the trees okay uh the animals of course we have the fish you have the rat you have the dove the dog natural features talks about how the stream is looking like it is like a silver stream okay so you can make a list of all of these uh the next one talks about the rhyming words now this all of you can do on your own you all know what rhyming words are okay so i'll just give you an example moon shoon sees trees catch thatch all these are the rhyming words rhyme scheme you all have already done previously so you all should know exactly what the rhyme scheme of the poem is now underline the word silver or silvery in the poem in which lines does it occur and what pattern does it show now it if you read the poem once more you notice that the word silver or silvery occurs in the second line of every couplet what is a couplet two sentences together okay so you see that there is the word silver or silvery mentioned and what pattern is it showing that the poet has used the figure of speech repetition and why do you use repetition in order to show poetic effect so this is the reason why the poet has used silvery or silver in order to bring out the effectiveness of the poem now this is what i want you all to do on your own can you think of a parallel scene of dawn or evening dawn is early morning and evening is the sunset when everything is steeped in golden light when the sun is rising and when it is setting the entire scenery has this kind of a golden finish to things so just like the poet has spoken about the moonlight you all have to paint a picture paint a picture i may not def necessarily to actually paint but you need to describe explain how everything looks like it is touched by gold now uh, you will have obviously a uh, poem appreciation i'll just read it out for you all okay i do not want you all to copy the same thing down because i want you all to write it on your own okay so i'm just going to read it out for you uh, i have already given you the points for poem appreciation in the first few poems which we have done okay so referring to those points you will have to write your poem appreciation in a paragraph format so let's begin you start by writing the name of the poem on top silver is written by walter de la mer the rhyme scheme of the poem is a a b b and so on personification is a figure of speech used by the poet this way and that she peers and sees in this sentence the moon is given the human quality of peering this way and that there are other figures of speech used in the poem such as repetition and alliteration 
The poem shows a beautiful and peaceful scene of the countryside at night under the moonlight and gives a clear picture of the different animals and objects reflecting the moonlight. The poet describes the magical effects of the silvery moonlight on a beautiful night. So this is how you should be able to write your poem appreciation on your own using your own words however you have to make sure that you mention all the points that we will be giving you all right so with that class we come to the end of this very beautiful poem please read through it again and i want you all to write the question answers from the side on your own okay thank you class and have a wonderful day god bless you all